ऑल आई एम प्रोफेसर सविता बोर्ड के ऑथर ऑफ योर इंटरनेशनल फिनेंस टेक्स्ट बुक सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व इलेस्ट्रेशन बेस्ड ऑन आर्बिट्रेज प्रॉफिट सो फॉर दैट आई हैव टेकन दिस इलेस्ट्रेशन ओवर हियर दे हैव गिवन यू इन्फॉर्मेशन दैट वी आर हैविंग एक्सचेंज रेट ऑफ ऑस्ट्रेलियन डॉलर यू एस डॉलर्स दैट इज़ वन पॉइंट नाइन थ्री जीरो नाइन इज योर बेड रेट एंड वन पॉइंट नाइन थ्री एट एट दैट इज द आस्क रेट ऑफर्ड बाई द बैंक ए नाउ बैंक बी फॉर द सेम करेंसी पेयर इज ऑफरिंग यू अ डिफरेंट रेट दैट इज ऑस्ट्रेलियन डॉलर यू एस डी इज वन पॉइंट नाइन थ्री नाइन एट इज द बिड रेट एंड द आस्क रेट इज वन पॉइंट नाइन फोर डबल जीरो दिस इज द रेट ऑफर्ड बाई द बैंक बी सो नाउ द इंस्ट्रक्शन इज दैट वी हैव टू आइडेंटिफाई एंड कैलकुलेट द आर्बिट्रेज प्रॉफिट सो नाउ हाउ वी आर गोइंग टू आइडेंटिफाई एंड हाउ वी आर गोइंग टू कैलकुलेट दैट आर्बिट्रेज प्रॉफिट लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड दिस फर्स्ट इन डिटेल एंड देन वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस इलेस्ट्रेशन सो ओवर हियर फर्स्ट आई स्टार्ट विद द एक्सप्लेनेशन ऑलवेज वेन एवर यू वॉन्ट द प्रॉफिट हाउ यू कैन गेट द प्रॉफिट प्रॉफिट इज सिंपली नथिंग बट अ डिफरेंस बिटवीन योर बाइंग प्राइस एंड सेलिंग प्राइस but for that there is one thumb rule is that always your buying price should be the low and your selling price should be high then only you can make the profit if your selling price is high and your buying price is low then you are making a loss just to make the profit always you should have the less buying price and highest selling price now over here in this arbitrage what we are going to do we are going to purchase the currency from such a bank which is offering the lowest buying rate and we are going to sell the same currency in another bank where we can get the highest selling rate for that currency so for that what we will do the first step is that we have to identify that from where we have to purchase this currency and to which bank we have to sell this currency so for that first we have to identify about the buying price the second rates that is the ask rate specify by the both the banks that is the buying rate for us so now what we are going to do we are going to compare both the rates we are going to compare both the rates so right now we are having 1.9388 and we are having the the rate offered by the bank b is 1.9400 if i'll compare both of this rate the lowest rate is 1.9388 so that rate is offered by the bank a so what is our thumb rule we are going to purchase the currency at the lower rate now i am having two options among that two option the lowest rate is a rate of 1.9388 and that is offered by the bank a so what we are going to do we are going to purchase the currency from this bank a now about the selling price at the first position always you are having the bid rate so bid rate is the selling rate for us so what i am going to do now i have purchased the currency and i have to sell that currency at the highest price now i am having the two selling rates that is 1.9309 and 1.9398 i have already purchased the currency at a price of 1.9388 so what i have to do i have to sell that currency to the higher rate and if i'll compare the two rates then over here the higher rate is 1.9398 and that rate is offered by the bank b so simply what we have done over here we have identify that from where we have to purchase the currency and where we have to sell the currency so we have identify that we are going to purchase the currency from the bank a and we are going to sell the currency to the bank b so now over here we have identified your buying rate and selling rate so that in a technical language we are going to call it as a identified bid and identified ask means i can say that i am having a identified bid 
of 1.9398 and identified ask is of 1.9388 i hope that this concept is clear to you guys now we are going to move on to the next concept that is a formula of your arbitrage if you want to calculate a arbitrage profit then you are having very simple formula that is principal into identified bid divided by identified ask minus your principal this we have to always put in a bracket so we can say that we are having a formula that in bracket principal into identified bid divided by identified ask minus principal so this formula we have to remember so now we are going to start with a final solution so what i have done i have again return the question over here for your reference the same question i have copied down over here now how to solve this in a solution always you have to mention first that the bid is greater than your ask already we have identified our bid and identified ask prices so bid of 1.9398 again i'll show you the numerical over here see what we have identified over here we have already identified that we are going to purchase the currency at this rate and we are going to sell at this rate to the bank b so this is your bid so bid of 1.9398 is greater than ask of 1.9388 means we are going to purchase at the lower rate we are going to sell at the higher rate so it means that we can make the profit so that's why we have return over here therefore arbitrage exist means we can make the profit now always while solving such type of numerical you have to assume capital in 1 million so the next step is that i have assumed that i am having a capital of 1 million australian dollars so that's why we have return over here assume capital aud 1 million now what is a 1 million 1 million is your 10 lakh already we are having a formula of arbitrage profit that we have taken down it over here as it is arbitrage profit is equal to the principal into identified bid divided by identified ask minus principal now how much the principal we are having that is 1 million so we have taken down it as it is now identified bid already we are having a bid of 1.9398 so that we have taken down over here ask already we are having that is your identified ask that is 1.938 that we have placed it in the formula minus your principal amount that is of 1 million australian dollar so when you will solve this on a calculator the final answer you will get that is 515.78 but directly we are not going to write down only 515.78 we have to write down it clearly that australian dollar 515.78 per aud 1 million so why we have to write down like this and what is the interpretation of this the interpretation of this statement is that if i invest 1 million australian dollar in the arbitrage of this currency that is australian dollar and usd so i can make a profit of 515.78 okay so i hope that this illustration is clear to you guys i am going to upload solution of each and every illustration over here that is going to help you a lot in your upcoming semester 6 examination guys all the best for your studies and thank you so much for watching my lecture